Come on in, Richard. All right. You would not believe my water bill. How much? It's about $1,000 a year. That's not cheap. I'm trying to bring it down. I've got a low flow toilet upstairs, and I, over the summer, I just put in a high efficiency washing machine. Good. But the last guzzler is in this bathroom down here, and I'd like your help with it. All right. I've got a, uh, um, the original toilet to the house when we moved in about 20 years ago. It's three and a half gallons per flush. That's right. You know, a week ago, I came out here. I put this water meter in right here, just temporarily. You can see that your family used about 330-something gallons on this toilet alone in seven days. That's just under 50 gallons a day. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is I want to keep this toilet but convert the insides to a modern dual flush. That sounds great. All right. Now, to save water, we could just change out this whole toilet to a modern 1.6 gallon per flush toilet, but right. that gets expensive. This device is about $25 and allows us to convert the existing toilet to a dual flush. Now, just pull that tank cover for me, would you? Okay. Now, here's the issue. Every time we hit this tank lever, the full contents of that tank leaves. It's three and a half gallons and goes down through the bowl. And that doesn't matter whether we're trying to eliminate solids or liquids. Now, this toilet was designed that we still need to have three and a half gallons to effectively eliminate solids from the bowl. So we okay. can't change that. But we can use less water when we're flushing liquids. So with this, we'll have two buttons. One button will lift and allow about one gallon down through the bowl, and this will be for solids, and that's gonna save a lot of water. So I'll only be saving money on the liquid flush. That's right, but about 80% of the time that you flush a toilet, it's actually to eliminate liquids, all right? Okay. So it starts by turning off the water right here. All right, I wanna eliminate the water from the tank, and once that's gone, Disconnect this flapper down at the bottom. It's the black thing that opens every time we flush. And I also want to disconnect the chain from the tank lever. Good. And now, to remove the tank lever itself, it's one of the few times in plumbing where it's not righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. It's actually a left-handed thread. So I'm going to take the pliers and go this way, which normally would tighten it, but now it loosens it. Once the nut is off, I can remove the tank lever. Now those are all the parts that we have to remove. Now it's time to install the new flush valve. Now this has a blue gasket at the bottom that's gonna sit down where the old flapper used to be, and that's gonna make a permanent seal. And now the flushing action is gonna happen inside this flush valve, up and down. Now on the side, there's a bracket which is gonna to attach to this vertical overflow tube right here. Now that's gonna slide right down and hold that gasket down at the very bottom in the perfect position, and once I get it into position, I'm going to snug it up with this cable tie on the side. But I'm not going to snug that up yet. Now this unit, instead of a tank lever, has a button, actually two buttons, one for liquids and one for solids. And to connect that to the tank, I break it apart right here, back this off. This actually turns out to be a right-handed thread. Now I hold it in place. I want the button for the liquids to be on the top. And then just snug the nut up. And then reconnect on the back. Now I just want to tighten up my cable tie. Good. All right, now we can turn the water back on. Now this tank is going to refill with three and a half gallons of water. You're going to need every bit of that every time you flush for solids. But when we're going with liquids, we can actually use much less. And we use this top button right here. All right, it's about to shut off right now. All right, now watch. When I hit that button, you can see the level drops, but it drops by much less. It only goes down by about a third, and that's going to save you a lot of water. Hey, Joel, I got good news and I got bad news. We are definitely using less water from the tank right here. but the bowl doesn't flush properly all the time. The water is not getting high enough down in the bowl. Now, I made a couple of marks right here. This is the line where the water should come to flush right, properly. Right, that's where it used to come up to. And we're only coming up to this point quite often. So there's not enough water in the bowl. Now let me show you here. Inside this tank, there's the flush valve that we changed, and this is the fill valve, and that brings water back in. It does two things. One is to bring the right amount of water into the tank. But it also, through this thing called a refill tube, the water comes here and goes down to refill the bowl. Now, because we have less water, 
leaving the tank. It means this fill valve is on for less time and not enough water is refilling that bowl. So what are we going to do? Well, actually, the manufacturer makes a fill valve designed for just this purpose. You can see right here that it has a valve that can be adjusted so we can have more water go to refill the bowl while the tank is filling. So it means we're going to change this fill valve out. Okay. All right, let's give it a try, Joel. I'm gonna flush for liquids right here with that top button. All right. Water comes from the tank down to the bowl, swirls the way it's supposed to, and that's a proper flush. All right, now let's just review what we've done so far. Here's your actuator right here. This top button is for liquids, and that's the most common use of a toilet, and it uses much less water. The bottom button is for solids, and that uses the same three and a half gallons that you've always used before. The actuator connects over here to the flush valve. The flush valve lifts to allow the water to leave the tank and go down to the bowl. And here's our fill valve right here. As the water rises, you can see the float coming up, and the water will refill into the bowl right here, and we've adjusted that valve. So let's see how we're doing. Just about to shut off, right at the line. That looks great. You're gonna save a lot of water.